guys welcome to another brand new episode of physics with nasher alam and uh, the good part is that this time i'm going to do an as chapter and uh, just to engage my as audience as well i've been receiving so many uh, complaints and uh, recommendations that i should do as as well as bhi to bachche hi hote hain to wo maine kaha ji bilkul aap sahi keh rahe hain so therefore um listening to your advice i have now begun my as series and the first section that i'm going to do with you as you can read the name carefully the physical quantities units and measurement techniques although there are two chapters from the syllabus i will be considering them as one as i teach you this concept of physical quantities now let's get cough first of all what is a physical quantity it's any quantity that can be measured a type of physical quantity is a base quantity and what is a base quantity please note that it is a quantity that can not be split further into simpler quantities so a base quantity is a quantity which cannot be split any further into simpler quantities i'll give you an example for example you've got length you've got mass you've got time you've got temperature you've got amount of a substance amount of a substance you've got light intensity and you have electric current so all of these quantities are called base quantities and their units i will write in front let me just make this table for you um the unit for length is meter as you all know so we'll just write it down in front the length for unit is meter uh, the, the unit for length is meter the the unit for mass is kilogram the unit for time is second uh, for temperature it is kelvin capital k uh, amount of substance is mole mol light intensity is candela cd and electric current the unit is ampere um one thing which you must note is that a couple of these quantities have units in caps lock so if you look at temperature you look at light intensity you look at electric current uh the reason why i'm highlighting them for you is so you ensure that the units are in caps at least the first letter is in caps for the rest uh they they're in small normal font uh but for these three particular quantities they are in caps so make sure that you don't put them in small now um uh, i have to mention the significance of this particular quantity electric current a lot of kids make a mistake over here usually what the mistake that they make is they forget to write the word electric and they simply say the unit for current is ampere now that is wrong because what is current current is the disturbance in a medium i'm sure you've experienced water currents i'm sure you've experienced air currents oh, they're all currents but does water current have a unit of ampere no does air current have a unit of ampere no so you're talking when you say ampere as a unit you're talking of a specific quantity which is electric current and not just current remember this electric current ka unit ampere hai uh, current ka unit ampere nahi hai but for now for convenience argument um whenever i use the word current i will mean electric current so that should be in your mind but you should know that actually the term is electric current now um why do we call them base quantities that's that should be the question in your mind so let's say i take this length of any object and i say that the length is 15 meters for example now you break it from the center you've got two pieces of this object because you've broken from the center you get 7.5 and you get 7.5 question what is the unit is it meter the answer is yes you break them you break one of them again from the center you get two smaller chunks again what you know is that the number keeps on changing it will be 3.25 3.25 but meter remains the same so point being that a base quantity cannot be split further what you mean by that is that if 
the length is 15 meters when you break it down it'll go down to meters it won't suddenly turn into kgs ye nahi hoga ke yahan par aap kaho ji length 15 meters hai niche thoda usko to 7.5 second nikal aaye that that's not going to happen yeah one thing could happen that uh, as you keep on breaking it down 3.5 meter ko aur thoda aur thoda aur thoda aap ko nahi aage ji centimeter aana shuru ho gaya centi is again a number all right i'm talking of the unit the unit is meter and that is not going to change i hope that is clear so uh, let's say you say say um, that let's take another example that i have this bag and the bag's mass is 10 kg i half it and the mass that i end up getting is 5 kgs i break it down further karte jao karte jao karte jao you end up getting 100 grams and then you end up saying ki ye to change ho gaye nahi ye dekhe ke gram jo hai wo gram mein hi reh raha hai wo gram mein hi reh raha hai yellow again is just a number so why don't we write grams over here instead of mass ke aage why don't we write grams and why do we write kilograms because we we're following the si system but what you know, need to know is that ye nahi hoga ke wo kilogram se tootta tootta bhi niche aake ampere ban jaye so 100 ampere nikal aaye suddenly from 10 kilograms no that doesn't happen so that is what we mean by a base quantity all right awesome so now we're going to discuss um another type of uh, physical quantity which is called a derived quantity now a derived quantity is formed due to some manipulation of the base quantities so derived quantity is formed due to some manipulation of these quantities so base quantities ko aap lo multiply karo ya divide karo do quantities ko us table mein se so you end up getting something which is called a derived quantity for example if from that table i pick up length and i pick up time and i divide them now i have something new and you know what this is this is speed so speed is a derived quantity why because agar aap speed ko todoge to usme se do cheez nikal aayengi ek meter nikal aayega aur ek second nikal aayega so it is not a base quantity base quantity ko if you keep on breaking it you get the same quantity over and over again but if you break up speed you get two things you get meters and you get seconds so you get meter per second now um actually that reminds me that you've definitely seen this device before and more of moreover you've definitely seen this app inside which is basically google maps or any other app that you're using and it's using a system which is called gps now gps is also consuming physics completely why because now you're estimating this app is basically estimating your speed It's calculating the distance and it's going to estimate the time that will take you to get from one point to another point so you understand how important physics is and how important derived quantities are all right carrying on so the second quantity that i want to talk to you about is acceleration now acceleration again is defined as change in velocity over time velocity ka symbol hota hai v so change in velocity ka you know ga ms minus 1 or time ka you know ga second so ye ban jayega ms minus 2 by the way all of this analysis that we are doing right now is called base unit analysis so ye sara analysis jo aap karoge aur iske bahut sare questions hain in the exam it's called base unit analysis because all the symbols all sorry all the units that you are observing right now in over here over here they're all from that table so remember whenever they ask you for base unit analysis the units have to be from the table that we just made some time ago which table am i talking of um i'm talking of this table over here ye wala table so this is the table from where we're getting all of our quantities so If I ask you for base unit analysis, I want all units from here and nothing from anywhere else. All right, let's move back and get back into what we were doing. So, uh, acceleration हो गया, speed हो गया. The third quantity is, for example, force. Now, force is defined as m a. Instantly, you will 
identify that the unit is Newton, but ask yourself, have you seen that unit in the table? You haven't, right? So that means Newton is not the answer that we're looking for. We're looking for the base unit analysis. I'm repeating, we are looking for the base unit analysis. So, usme garbar apne bilkul nahi karni. Base unit analysis ka matlab ye hai ki aap identify karo ki m ka unit kya hoga, m ka unit hoga kg, acceleration ka unit hoga meter per second square. So, it'll be kg ms minus 2. I'll just do one more example um, and then we'll move on to our next topic. Uh, the next quantity that I will discuss with you is uh, potential difference. Potential difference is defined as work done per unit charge. Work done per unit charge. Now, work is force into distance. Charge is current into time. So, what you end up doing is just plug in the base units and you will be done with the base unit analysis. Force ka unit. Aapne ye already nikala hai. Kg ms minus 2. So, just plug it there. Uh, distance ka unit is meter. Current ampere. Time seconds. So, simplify. You get kg m square. Now, s ki power 1 hai. Ye upar jayega. Minus 2 ke saath aayega. To s minus 3 ho jayega. Or a minus 1 ho jayega. So, remember that you have to give your answer in the most simplified form. And you also have to make sure that all units are in the numerator. There's nothing in the denominator. You have to give it in the most simplified form. And please don't make, make a mistake of um, making the wrong indices. If ampere denominator, mein upar jayega, ampere minus 1 hoga. Ab is tarah you can find a million questions in the exams. Make sure you attempt them. Uh, because the more you practice, the better you will get at it. And also one more thing. You will not be given these formulas. For example, if you don't have this formula in the paper, you will not be given this formula. Please ensure that you remember all of the formulas by heart. Uh, they will give you formulas for nothing at all when they're asking you for a question on based on analysis because all the formulas will be from your particular syllabus. All right. Great. Another topic that I want to hit with you today is the concept of homogeneity of an equation. So what is homogeneity? Homogeneity basically means that the units on the left hand side must be equal to the units on the right hand side. That is what we mean by homogeneity. Now, just to give you a quick example, if I have a basic example, that I have a length of 5 centimeters and 5 centimeters is equals to 3 plus 2. And I ask you that, let, let, please tell me that if this is 5 centimeters, what is the unit for 3? Instantly, you should answer that the unit for 3 is centimeters and the unit for 2 is centimeters. That's why 3 centimeters plus 2 centimeters is 5 centimeters. I hope that makes sense. If somebody says, Naiji, you do two centimeters, you two centimeters, you two seconds, how can you add centimeters to seconds and get centimeters? So it's actually that simple. That the units on the left hand side of the equation must be equal to the units on the right hand side of the equation. All right. So just as an example, um, I give you a, an equation, just come out what is on the left hand side. Okay. But I tell you that on this side, um, the equation is. 2 pi into under root of L over G. Now, you will get questions of these sort. You've not seen the formula before if you're in AS. So how do you solve it? Don't panic because you know how to solve it. All you will do is you will identify what L is. They will tell you in the question. They will also tell you what G is. They put an under root on top. Do not forget that. 2 pi is just a number. What you will do is you'll just substitute the units for these quantities and it will simplify into something and you will be able to identify what this is. Let's have a look. So L in the question is given to you as length and G is given to you as gravitational acceleration. Just give value earth will be 9.81 meter per second square. But again, the value does not matter. It's the unit which matters. So let's start solving. So I don't know what the quantity on the left hand side is, but I do know that 2 pi is just a number. 
it doesn't have any unit so i can completely ignore it and i will bring the square root back now i know that the unit for length is meter so i write meter and the unit for gravitational acceleration is meter per second square so i write ms minus 2 now m and m get cancelled so i am left with question mark is equals to under the root of now please do not make a mistake here this is 1 over s minus 2 so when you will take it up it will come under the root of s squared now the square and the square root will get cancelled and you are left with the unit which is second and second you identify the quantity this is the question mark the question mark was actually time so this is the equation for time actually it's time period but if even if you identify it as time that means so that's one example i can give you another one if you want um number two let's try uh, question mark is equals to ut plus one half a t square and i tell you that u is speed and t is time and a is acceleration i want you to pause the video and I just want you to plug in all the units and solve and let's see what result do you get. Um, it's okay if you don't get the, go the the right result in the first attempt. It's fine. But at least give it a try yourself. So question mark is equals to ut plus half at squared. And I'm asking you for the units uh, from th for the quantity. What is the quantity in the question mark? And of course, you need to know the units. So I hope you've solved it by now. And let's plug in the units. So u was speed so the speed ka unit goga meter time was second uh, a meter per second sorry speed ka unit meter per second hota hai. time ka unit second so we write seconds plus one half wo waise ka waise aagaya. acceleration ka unit kya tha? meter per second square and what's the unit for time square do not forget the square that is s square simplify s and s minus one get cancelled s square and s square get cancelled so you're left with m plus one half of m again don't be concerned about this particular half because it's just a number unit kya tha unit tha meter meter mein aapne meter add kiya mujhe ye bata dein bas ke meter mein jab meter add karte hain to cheez nikalti hai wo kya nikalti hai kg nikalte hain second nikalte hain kya nikalta hai wow i got, got a little excited uh, um, so when you add meters into meters what do you end up with you end up getting meters and what is meter what is meter meter is a unit for distance so this particular quantity in question mark was distance this is the equation for distance it's also one of the equations for motion which we'll be studying as we go along this course all right great um, so again practice as many questions as you can and um, i'll see you in the next episode and we'll take it from here cheers